How do? My name is Andrew Hancock and I am a VMware technical architect from Yorkshire in the United Kingdom. I have worked with VMware since their birth in 1998. So that's been a quarter of a century now. I've been working with the VMware product catalog. Some of my close friends say, if you cut Andy in half, it reads VMware like a stick of rock from Blackpool Pleasure Beach. I have now written over 130 articles and recorded over 30 hours of VMware vSphere 7 and 8 videos for Experts Exchange and received 40 Expert Exchange awards over the last 11 years working with the Expert Exchange community. I am currently the overall number one point earner in the Hall of Fame. I am honoured to have been accepted into the VMware vExpert program since 2011 and I'm currently a VMware vExpert Pro for the last four years. And welcome back to another Hancock's VMware half hour. But I'm looking at a post that says five minutes. So in this topic um, today, in this video, I'm going to cover vSAN licensing. How we add a vSAN license to our vSAN cluster. Um, and this is going to take about five minutes. So this is going to be a half an hour episode. Hopefully we'll cover this in about approximately five minutes. So yes, VMware vSAN does require a license. Um, I have been to a number of organization sites where they've had issues with vSAN and on arriving at the site it's obvious that they've never ever licensed vSAN, they never thought they had to license vSAN. Now though vSAN is incorporated into ESXi and incorporated into vCenter server, it still requires a valid licensed function. By default when you create a vSAN it operates in evaluation mode and if we go to our EE cluster and I click configure and we look at the vSAN cluster you can see there quite clearly it says it's operating as an evaluation license it's in evaluation mode and it's going to expire on the 29th of September 2023 which is obviously going to be catastrophic if you're using in production you haven't actually purchased any licenses and your vSAN license is going to expire you may also notice that we've got this lovely orange brown uh, manage your license and if we click manage licenses then again you can see that we've got the evaluation license that's also applicable there so i'm going to quickly add a new license to this so it can be done in a couple of ways you can click add here and you can add the license and then you can assign it to the vsan cluster or i'm going to go back to the inventory I'm going to highlight the vSAN cluster. I'm going to click assign license. I'm going to click new license. Uh, I'm going to go and find my license. Now a vSAN license is in addition to your existing ESXi licenses and your vSAN to server license. So I'm just going to cut and paste the license in there. I'm going to give it a name. I'm going to call it vSAN Enterprise Plus, I'm going to click OK, and that's it. We should find eventually when the center server actually catches up and we do a refresh um, that that brown uh, disappears. And now we've got the blue one, which is notifying us of uh, updates, which is an update to vCenter Server 8. So that's it. That's all I wanted to cover in this video. Um, now, if you're actually building home labs, um, then one way that you can get um, vSAN licenses uh, is by becoming a VMware vExpert. That's one mechanism. Uh, but another mechanism is if you actually sign up uh, for vMug Advantage Plus uh, that has a program for a couple of hundred dollars a year uh, whereby you will receive uh, licenses uh, for the majority of VMware products. So that's all I've actually got to talk about and show you in this video is how to add a vSAN cluster license to our vSAN cluster. So thanks very much and come back soon and uh, keep well. Bye bye.